Hey guys, Dynasty Warriors 6 here again. Went out with a game finds video. I had promised to do this for a while back, and I just I just finally got around to doing it finally. And it's just this is just a trade video, number probably two. Um, there is some stuff here that we just have extras up, or we just don't really have the space for anymore, or we just don't really you know want. So we're me and Jason kind of looked around in our rooms, found some games, and we're gonna just create a video and see if you guys are interested. Uh, definitely hit us up on any offers. I'm definitely looking towards more just to give you guys a general idea instead of saying, you know, messaging me saying, what do you want? You know, what are you looking for? I'm definitely leaning towards uh, Sega Genesis. As you guys know, I am working towards a complete collection of uh, Sega Genesis games, preferably boxed and complete if it's possible at all. Jason, I believe he's looking for Master System as well as kind of just an assortment. You just def Jason's kind of definitely a wider taste of stuff. And I'll definitely mention who's, what games belong to per what person, so that way you know who you're kind of talking to by chance. If you're, you know, messaging about a certain game that I can, I know which, you know, which one you're looking for and stuff like that. So, start off with the old stuff, and then work, we'll just work our ways that way. First old stuff. Um, first up is a Super Mario Bros. 3. It will come with the black sleeve. Every game you see with the black sleeve will come with it. Super Mario Bros. 3, NES, great shape. That's up for trade. Blades of Steel, NES. Black sleeve, up for trade. Of course, classic, Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt. Comes with the sleeve. Hogan's Alley, up for trade, if anyone's interested. Yoshi. Now, from, let me look at Yoshi. Yoshi does have some damage and a little writing down here. I still have to try to clean that. But it does have some damage on the label on the back. So if anyone, you know, no confusions. There you go. Uh, and overall, the Yoshi label is pretty good, as you guys can possibly see. The back is a little meh, but Yoshi. So, and it comes with a black sleeve. And the last one is a recent pickup that I got. It's just, I played it. It's all right. You know, Archon. It does have a Sharpie marker on the back. So I will try to clean that, but if I cannot, uh, and the label back here is bubbling up a little bit for some strange reason. I'll try to, but that way you guys know. Archon comes with this, with this sleeve. And they're all Nintendo sleeves too. Okay, next up is Sega Genesis loose carts, predominantly loose carts. There is one box game that I am trying to trade. But First one is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Label's in pretty good shape, a few scratches and dings, but overall, label's in okay shape. This label has seen better days. It's faded on top. It is Sonic the Hedgehog 1. It's not for resale. It's faded on top right here. Not bad, though. If you're looking to get a loose cart, definitely. Jungle Book, same thing. Faded on top, but loose cart. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. College Slam has all this sticker crap that I could not scrape off with the life of me. I tried my best. Uh, the label has seen better days, so College Slam. And once again, another one that has a lot of sticker crap on it, I tried getting some of it off, is Tasmania. There's just a lot of stuff on this one. And then the, the, one of the last loose cart Sega Genesis games is Mortal Kombat 2. Sega Genesis loose cart. And the last game that is for trade for uh, Sega is a Sonic the Hedgehog not for resale box with game. The label's in a lot better condition than the other one, sadly, but it is fairly decent. No manual. Um, sorry about that, guys. I know manual is pretty important, but I just this is I, this is an extra now. So if anyone likes it, definitely hit me up. Now, just a word of warning: there is this blue like paint substance, like, is stringy. It looks almost like silly string. I don't know where it came from. I can't get it off. There's no, but there's this blue lining on it. No confusions. I don't want anyone saying, oh, you didn't tell me that that was the way. This is the way it is. All right, that's Sega. We got Nintendo done. Next up, Super Nintendo. Just two carts only. Um, you know, so Super Nintendo, I have a lot of sports. A lot of, me and Jason have a ton of sports. But I doubt anyone's interested in it. We have Maddens, we have baseball, we have just just crap of crap of stuff of that. So, two games that are worthwhile though. We have Super Mario World. I, I have Super Mario World, this is mine. All the Sega games were mine, all the Nintendo games were mine, just to clarify. 
Super Mario World on Super Nintendo. Super Mario Kart on Super Nintendo. The label behind, on the back is slightly damaged, as you guys can kind of see. It still plays great. It, the label on front looks great. So, Super Mario Kart. Next up um, is one of Jason's. It's a Mike Piazza's Strike Zone. It does have a label on the back, and the cart is a little dirty. We'll definitely try to clean that up. Sport, you know, Sport Title on 64 cart. There you go. Next up, I have uh, two copies. Now, one does have some label damage and a sticker on the back, but I have two copies of Goldeneye on Nintendo 64. Goldeneye 007. This one's got the damage on the back. So the first one to message me about Goldeneye will get the better copy. The next person gets the lesser copy, sadly, with the damage. That's how it goes. First come, first serve, right? That's how game hunting goes all the damn time. So, Goldeneye. Two copies, up for trade. Next up, um, now I have someone who already messaged me about this, so I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. I had to watch their video, but just in case there is nothing that can work out. Uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron on uh, 64. It's in pretty good shape. I just got to clean a little bit more, but overall it's just a little dirty. I've, I've been trying to rub that stuff off. I might have to get a, ma a magic eraser and rub it gently, but no damage on the back. Star Wars Rogue Squadron on 64, loose cart. And then definitely, probably a, a, a very kind of sought after game. I played it, I didn't really like it. I know a lot of people will probably would like this game in their collection. It is a black cart. It is Idean Chronicles, the first mage. Now there is some sticker damage on the back that I, I am not gonna remove. I'm not gonna bother trying to remove it. You guys are more than welcome to, but this way you guys know what you're getting. But Idean Chronicles, the first mage. There you go, black card. So I know some people like this game and really would like to add that game to their collection. There we go. And Jason has a boxed 64 game that he is looking to possibly trade. He has Hexen on 64. And it comes with everything, manuals, cardboard, insert, and everything. Hexen 64, boxed, complete. This is Jason, so you'll definitely have to, when you message, you know, he's, inter he's interested in everything that, you know, so definitely, Keep, it, keep your mind open with that. So, Hexen, 64. Next up that belongs to Jason is a PlayStation game, Space Jam. It is complete, great shape, PlayStation. I, and then this is mine. I have a PlayStation Crash Bandicoot Warped, 3 Warped. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. I guess I've got to replace the case, but it's in pretty good shape. Next up, PGA Tour 98. Pretty good shape, complete. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Now just so you guys know, if you see cracks or dings, I will be replacing these cases if anyone does take these games. Um, I will replace the cases because I have extras I use to replace them, so that way you get brand new cased, you know, cases. That way you're not dealing with cracks and dings and scratches of, on the cases, definitely. So, next up. I believe these are all Jasons, so this is all Jasons. Uh, True Crime, Streets of LA, Xbox. Complete. Up for trade. ESPN Football. Up for trade. On Xbox. Rainbow Six Critical Hour. Hour. It does not come with the... Well, this game's not up for trade. Because it's all messed up with Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell inside of it, and it's all weird. So this one I'll have to set to the side and see what's going on. And um, let's see. Next up is a PS2 game, uh, Brunswick Pro Bowling. Complete. PlayStation 2. Full Spectrum Warrior on PlayStation 2. It does come with the manual. It is the right, the right manual. I just had to flip it over. There we go. Complete. And the last game that Jason's trading is uh, Def Jam Fight for New York, The Takeover. It is a complete PSP game. I know those are kind of tough to, you know, deal with because sometimes the manuals are missing. But Def Jam, Fight for, De Def Jam Fight for New York, The Takeover on PSP. Complete. So that's it, guys. That's about our trade, our trade video. I said I promised I would get an updated one on this. 
here's the updated one. Um, you know, things have been traded. You know, it's, I've had good luck with trades. Uh, I've, everyone's very timely on messages usually. So if you see something you like, message me ASAP. You know, and you know what I like. You know what Jason likes. So message us ASAP, and we'll get it, we'll get something rolling real quick. Thanks, guys.